Yeah, get him. That's the big one right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here you come back a little bit. I gotta be able to get to the board. No, don't go up there. That's when we lose them. Ooh, ooh. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, that's a big trap. Yeah, it is. I got the net. Keep reeling. Don't stop. Stop now. Stop. Keep your rod down and start reeling. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my. That's a trophy. That's a trophy. Holy cow. Trophy oh, cropping. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 it's a trophy. Baby, oh, 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 my I may have guessed wrong yesterday, oh, but God. not today. <laughs> Show that one to this camera oh. right here. Hey guys, Crappie Kirby. Just goes to show you not every day is sunshine and rainbows here on Fish Eat Live. Today it's raining. We're at Dale Hollow Lake in Tennessee and we're going to be fishing with Denny Wilbert, the owner of Dale Hollow Marina and guide Corey Thomas who's on the B&M Pro Staff and knows how to catch them in all types of weather. So enjoy us as we get wet catching big mondo crappie as Corey says on Dale Hollow Lake. Here we go, enjoy the show, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy the rain. We're back with Corey Thomas, Denny Wilbert, we're at Dale Hollow Lake, and we're just gonna show you another technique to put some uh, sore lips on those crappie and, and put them in the boat here at Dale Hollow because there's really so many different techniques that you can utilize to catch not only crappie, but walleye, trout, uh, smallmouth bass. There's is a good bass lake as well. Yeah. World record. Yeah, world record smallmouth. Nine of the ten biggest smallmouth ever caught. Really, right here. Right here. And so, what are we gonna do now, Corey? So this is kind of something I really like doing in the spring. It's probably my favorite way to guide. You really get to interact with the clients. We're gonna pull planter boards, and we're gonna pull a mixture of crappie magnets. Um, dancers and fin spin pro series okay we're fishing suspended open water staging fish a lot of these fish are going up in spawn but they're still uh, this is really fantastic fish in the month of March um, basically what we're gonna be doing is pulling 75 series rod and also some of the crappie wizards um, we're gonna be pulling double jigs uh, some with the crappie magnets okay some of them with the dancer okay and my favorite, Fin Spin Pro Series. The Fin Spin Pro Series. I like those too. Uh, this is it's time to do some damage. We got the Fin Spins out. Let's see how these things fare. I bet they do good. I bet they do good. Oh, here's the first big crappie. Get the net, Joe. Yeah, that's not a nice one. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. First gas on the fin spin. <laughs> the fin spin pro series. I like those too. This is Mr. Wilson. He's become quite famous. Yeah. He survived a lot of battles, and we're going to put him out. We're going to send him out there and see if he can do it for us one more time. <laughs> but, uh, All right. These fish were suspending out here between six and eight feet of water. I mean, they're six and eight feet deep in 25 to 30 foot of water. Um, they're just out, they're big single fish, really scattered, and this is a great technique to cover water and catch some giant fish. Nice, so all we're right. We're gonna walk you guys through it, show you exactly how to do it, uh, and uh, hopefully catch some giants. I'm excited, this is the first time I've ever used planer boards, so this, this is gonna be exciting. Yeah. Thanks for watching Fish Eat Live, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, first step, Corey, we got to tie these uh, presentations to the line, and you're using a loop knot, is that correct? Yeah, this is a double loop knot. 
and what this does is it just allows the jig to swim freely when you're pulling it um, and just a more natural presentation. So, so we just tie loop knots on both of these. And put them how far apart? Does it matter? 18 inches, two feet, something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. To cover different mm -hmm. varieties in the water column, yeah. depths. And then basically, we can just go ahead and show you how we do it. Here's how you do it. You just run the line through the first jig and you leave it on there. Okay, and it's just hanging there. It's just hanging there, running okay. through the eye. Yeah. You're going through the eye of the second one, where you got a double line. Yeah. Pinch it with these two fingers. Okay. Go around once. Got a loop. We go yeah. through the middle once. Through the middle twice. And through the middle third time. Okay. Then you just wet it. And then here's the trick. With the other finger, pinch the size you want your loop. Uh-huh. And pull the double tight lines to tighten. Okay. And you got a loop. Trim it up. And let's see what it looks like. Finished product. Very cool. Okay, and, and then, then you, you come do, up to the one up here. And do the same the thing. Desired length up here. So we're just gonna boo about 18 inches. Like so. Okay. We're just gonna pinch it like this to where it's double. Uh-huh. Same technique. One time. Make a loop. Middle. Once. Through the middle. Well, twice. Through the middle three times. There you go. Wet it, cinch it down. Whammo. Bam. Easy Double peasy. Ready. Yeah, that's pretty slick and very quick. Very quick. <laughs> yeah. These are actually an old model board that I've kind of re been reusing for several years. Yeah. And don't show this one, but this is a new prototype you're going to be able to buy pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Very from, high visibility. From who? Uh, Bub's Daddy. Oh, Bub's Daddy. Yeah. I like and that it's, guy. And uh, it's done on a 3D printer. <clears throat> really? And this thing you pops. You can see it from a mile away. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. So step two, the next thing we do is we put a slide bite on each one of these. Okay, give it a little scent. Yeah, and basically I think the function of these just allows that fish to hang on to it longer and for us to get to the rod before they let go. Okay. So then... So the actual movement of the boat usually sets the hook? Uh, or do you have to kind of pop you it You gotta set the hook pretty good. Okay. Um, so we're gonna, right now we know these fish are, I'm gonna target like six to eight feet. So uh -huh. I'm gonna, the double sixteenths, that's a very short amount of line yeah. on the planter board. So the line behind the planter board determines the depth you're going to run okay. and in, according to speed and uh, we're going to run one mile an hour. So okay. to get this roughly, that's all the line we're going to put out. Right there. And then... So that's just about like nine or ten foot cast. That's probably about 15 feet. 15? Okay. And then we clip the board on the line. Hold on, let me see how you're doing this. this it's is, like a cork? Yes, yeah, it's just like clip. a spring bobber mechanism. Okay. We clip it on both of those. Uh-huh. Then, you just put the rod in your holder, you send it out, you go ahead and start with the next one, and you let the desired amount of line out here. Uh -huh. That's going to be our furthest backboard, so we will let the most line out of it. But while you're doing that, you can go ahead and be putting your next pole out. It takes me about 90 seconds to get the entire spread out. Really? And we're going to run these in a V pattern. Dude, you are fast. Look at that out there. It's just heading towards the bank, kind of, huh? Yep. And what you do is you want to get your planter boards in a nice little row okay and what that allows you to do is you can really watch them without you don't have to watch any one particular you're just kind of watching the formation yeah i see that well you're fast at this well you have to be you have to be how come of that just well because when these fish start biting it's... i mean we're having five and six fish on at a time and i got <laughs> <laughs> when they're biting, you got to keep the boards in the water. Okay. I see these fish over here on side imaging. Yeah. And what's kind of funny is a lot these fish are so shallow. You you could if you're just watching your 2D sonar, you won't even know they're there. Really? They'll never get under the boat. 
So we got three rods, one, two, three, and the furthest board is the one, the or the, yeah, in the back. Uh -huh. And then you just teeter them or tear them. Yep. So it's just one, two, three in a row. Yep. Yeah. And so basically the boat is spooking the fish outward, and then that's where you've got your baits out, out past the boat. Yep. On that side. And, and there you got a nice straight line there. Yeah. What the bite looks like is one of these will just get out of formation. Uh-huh. That is really unique. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's the planer boards. Super relaxing way to catch them. And there's the rods. One, two, three. Denny, you ever done this before? Never done this before. I've, I've seen him do it on um, shows. I've seen him t talk about it, but in, the results are phenomenal. He really, yeah. it's my kind of fishing too. I can just sit back and relax, maybe drink a beer. Yeah. This is, where, I mean, a great way to take your wife fishing. Yeah. Kid, get, great way to get kids into it. It's basically bobber fishing while trolling, yep. right? We're, we're long lining, but we're we're getting we're just long lining by getting the boat the baits away from the boat. Okay, and in this clear water, the boat does spook the oh, fish quite yes. a bit, right? Yes. When I first found this out, when I first found out you could long line these fish on this lake, I found that on one pass I would pick up 15 fish in this particular area. And then, by the time I made that pass, I would look back and there was 10 or 15 boats out there zooming around. Uh -huh. And it would take us the entire rest of the day to catch our, catch our second 15. Yeah. So, I used to think it was just an early bite, but no, it turned out the fish just, when they get pressured this time of year, and, they just, and they're really shallow, they just get, even though we're in deep water, the fish are shallow and they get really spooky. Huh. And we're just using that advantage, uh, behavior to our advantage. Yeah, we're, we're, we're basically plowing the fish outward. Yep. And not to mention, look at the, look at the amount of ground you're covering here. Yeah, that's amazing. And I used to do a mixture of long lines running out the back while I was doing this. Uh-huh. Turned out it wasn't even worth it because you catch so many more bites on these planter boards. So I just put it running the flat line. Very cool. So when you reel, when you do get a bite and you reel one in, you actually reel the planer board in as well? Uh-huh, and then I walk you through it. I unclip the board, because we don't want this board to release, because if you have a three pound crappie up on top of the water, you don't want that board to release and go all the way down to that fish, because he's gonna come off every time. Right. So you reel it up to me, I grab the line behind the board, take it off, uh -huh. and then you get to fight the whole length of the cast of the fish in on a long line. Get him, get him, Danny, get, grab him. Oh my gosh, get the net! Oh, it's a large mass. Still, hey, this is a good largemouth plug. You said it was a good bass lake, didn't you, Denny? It is good bass. Oh, that's a big old large mouth. Look at him coming up. Four pound trout SOS. Whoop that one. Wow. What a big old bass. Beautiful. Look how pretty that bass is. Hey, the old crappie magnet. Yeah. Keep telling these bass guys if they get out here and fish these suspended fish, yeah. they can win their tournaments. Dang, that's a chunk. 
Good job, Denny. Yes, sir. Boom. Boom. Hit the rock. <laughs> I'll get an acorn every well, that's exciting. Excitement in the rain at Dale Hollow. That's the name of this show. I'll leave that double crossing. There you go. There you go. Hold him up. Hold him up, Denny. Boom. Heck, I can't even get him in the whole screen. He's so big. Kirby, got your one. We got one over here now? Yeah, this is a crop. Okay, well, go ahead. You got him. Here, Denny, really? Got that. Oh, I see him out there. Yeah, that is a crop. Really? So there's the point Stop of really? one coming in. Yep. You take it off. And then, you, and then you reel the crop in. Well, normally I would net it, but our net's all tangled up with all that largemouth fun. It's a big old crappie. Oh, oh my gosh. Mondo. Look at that belly on that crappie. The dancer. Kind of dancer. Kind of dancer. Yeah, There's your two pound pluser. Dang. Look at that fish. He's, he's, he's bent, straighten his tail out there so you can see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was pretty quick, Corey. <laughs> Good job, Danny. <laughs> get we got one another of. one. It's another big one. <clears throat> Holy cow. Smashing that dancer. Oh, oh another man. bass. Woo! Action packed. Action Jackson. That's your new nickname, Corey. Live action. Live action. Boy, we let one big fish loose and we catch another one. Thank you, God. That's awesome. Woo! <laughs> this is so much fun in the rain. Now that was cool. In the rain. <laughs> get him, get him, Denny. Get, grab him. Get him, Denny. Oh, yeah. That's, oh. Oh, that's a good one. Yep, that's a good crop in there. Oh, He's coming straight to the motor, Denny. Got one over here now? Yeah, this one will drop it. Okay, go ahead, yeah. Here's Denny, reel this one in for me. Drop that. Get him. Whoa. Whoa. Go ahead, Alex. Just keep reeling straight to the motor. Now, you don't... He ain't gonna break you. Sure? Yeah. You got a lot of pressure on him. Yeah. He's a big old, big old large mouth, I'm guessing. Is that what he is? He jumped back there. Almost a three. Gosh. That's a PB. 
Oh my god. That is Denny, Denzel's PB right here. Show that to get in close to that camera. Hold it up, man. Wow. Bingo. Dale Damn. Hollow Special. Dude, that's like a 270. Oh. You got on a scale? Yeah, I got one. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a trophy that fish. Is why we pull Ta take it up to the front there and show that and so they get that whole dancing around. Once again, nonsense. the dancer. The dancer! Mermaid. Oh, Lake, mermaid. Lake <laughs> Day's guide service, Corey Thomas. Hey, that is awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna turn it loose, right? Yes, sir. Wait one more make time. Some babies. Keep the cheese pool. 244. 246. Still, man, Still. a black crappie that big. All right, let's put her back in there. All right. She's got a lot of good genes in her belly eggs, and she's gonna. Whoa! Whoa, she's gone! All right, Koi, catching all these fish, how do you like to cook them? Well, one of my favorite ways to do it, since I'm on a low carb diet, help me lose a ton of weight, is uh, we're gonna take these things and uh, bread them in um, the mixture of almond flour and grated Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna mix them half and half. Okay. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of Tony's Creole seasoning. Yeah. Um, just a little bit of salt. The grated Parmesan gives it uh, quite a bit of saltiness. And then we're going to pan fry those and then we're gonna roll it and when it's hot into buffalo sauce Ooh. and then put those in a low carb fish wrap yeah and then we're gonna make a vinegar based slaw put that over top of it and have us some killer fish tacos oh my gosh oh yeah when are we gonna do that uh, about two hours okay dang it that sounds good yeah. don't it it's definitely yeah. gonna be we, did it, we did it last week we did it last week oh my god oh yeah. my god That's loved some asparagus real asparagus real uh, vegetables all right. Uh, just because you're eating healthy, don't mean it. Don't mean it doesn't have to taste good. Looks amazing. One thing I'd like to expand on about this trip here is anybody coming to Dale Hollow for the first time that doesn't know this lake, spend the money and get you a good guide, especially for crappie. Good Corey. There's some really good smallmouth guides and walleye guides. This is a unique lake. It fishes like three different lakes, and you just come down here and you get so frustrated the first couple of times. It takes a long time to learn this lake and a lot of effort, but get you some guides, and they're all willing to share their trade and their secrets with you. Nice, and, and then once you learn it one or two days with a guide, you can go out and attempt Correct. it yourself and be quite successful, right? Absolutely. Nice, 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 nice. Corey, what's that number again? 270-566-1152. All right. Well, I guarantee you'll have a good time. Man, this has been a wonderful, wonderful time. Denny, thank you for taking time out of your busy day. My pleasure. Uh, running two marinas and... Uh, catch your personal best. Yeah, yes. Catching your right. personal best. <laughs> yes. Uh, that was a giant. And Corey, man, always a good time. Yeah, always an educational time. Yeah, man. I know you're a pharmacist by trade, but you should have been a teacher because uh, you, you're very I, good the at The teaching part of it is actually my favorite part about the guiding is because you get to share your passion yeah. uh, of crappie fishing. But it, And then you know, my favorite thing is when they send me pictures and videos of them catching them on their home water. Oh, man, and how that, rewarding I mean, is that, that? I mean, that's awesome. So your clientele, how many repeat customers do you have? Just a ton? I'm exclusive repeat at this point, almost. Really? Yeah. That's like, awesome. Uh, everybody in the spring that fishes with me, I give them the option to keep the day for the next year, and most of them say we're not getting out of the boat until we have that day. For nice. <laughs> well, okay, so I need to make, secure April 3rd of next year, okay? Right. <laughs> thank you, we'll, Corey. We'll do it. All right, and thank you guys for watching. If there's any questions or comments that you guys have about planer boarding, hit the Fish, Eat, Live comment section. Ask Corey. Ask Denny. Uh, I, I probably am not experienced enough to answer that, but boy, I can tell you how much fun it was here on Dale Hollow Lake. Thank you, gentlemen, once again, and uh, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.